Hi friends, this practice is inspired by a really lovely friend of mine. She mentioned it the other day and it just reminded me how much I love starting a practice this way. It incorporates the blanket, rolls underneath the belly at the top, so you're really connected to your core, your center, your hara, that like inner workings, your vital organs, all those juicy bits in the center of you. And then as we practice, we'll get into some really nice twists and openers for the body. So just a great flow overall. You'll wanna grab, of course, a blanket, a towel, whatever you have handy, and then two blocks for middle and the end of the practice. Once you have that and you're ready to go, we'll get started. Let's go ahead and grab this blanket. Traditionally, you just kind of have it folded as such. If you are using a towel, same same thing. Just roll it up. Um, and you might have to explore a little bit here because you'll find um, you may be a little bit more sensitive in the belly. This practice, I highly recommend. Uh, don't eat before <laughs> you do this. You definitely want to have an empty stomach. Um, or, you know, you could have eaten a couple hours, but just make sure um, you're starting out in a place. If you have eaten recently, don't fret. Um, you can just do a little bit less. And then also, if you're just sensitive in the belly area, just kind of a, a flat approach here is just as good. So you just want to connect to the to that midsection. So you want to go between your bones. So between your hip bones and between the lower ribs. So you're in kind of that soft space of the belly. And then we'll just adjust our blanket. You can kind of eyeball it a little bit and then slowly just start to come down. And I would advise just come onto the forearms first. And then you can shift a little bit from side to side. So you feel that connection deep within your inner body. Take a moment to assess. If you feel any anything in the back body like it just arrived here I could use a little release in the lower back so I just curl one toe under take a nice stretch in the back of the leg I'll feel that in my lumbar region of my lower back and then release and then let's do the other side lift reach the heel lower down and then you feel that nice stretch to the back body and then let's go ahead and if it's comfortable for you let's lower down all the way so you can bring the forehead to the back of the hands couple breaths here to arrive. And then maybe you want to add some movement from side to side just as you get in there. And you want to be comfortably here, so not resisting the imprint or the pull of gravity. So if you're tightening your shoulders or your glutes or anywhere in your body as a, that protective mechanism, maybe unroll and go for a flatter approach on that blanket. Mm, if it feels good, just some deep breaths here. It was a bit high on my blanket. I could feel it kind of right underneath my lower ribs, so just adjusting so I'm in that sweet spot right behind the belly button. And depending on you know your sensitivity around your vital organs, you might feel this more, you might feel it less. And be willing to adjust if you need to adjust, but try to sit with the sensations that are coming to surface for you. You might feel your heartbeat in your belly now as you are pressing in on the organs. A little compression happening. And then that right side in the soft belly is your ascending colon. So as your colon travels up and then underneath those lower ribs. And then if you Kind of shift to the left, that's your descending colon. And we're just giving some 
conscious love to the colon, to our inner body, connecting in a deeper way to our physical form. Mm. Gratitude for these organs, gratitude for their work. Every moment of every day, just keeping you healthy, supported. No conscious effort, it just does its thing. Maybe that's our intention for today, just gratitude for the body just as it is. All the, the miracles that it does every moment of every day. Let's go about five more breaths. We use these sensations to draw us deeper. So use that to really connect. If there's a bit of discomfort, notice if you can stay with that discomfort. It's not painful, but it's just an unusual sensation that maybe, you know, shocks your brain a little bit and you kind of want to resist and pull out. But can you sit with discomfort? Can you sit with the unusual sensations in your body and let that make you really curious? Visualize these organs, see them, feel them, and tapping them, give them a little tap tap of love, a little shake of love. Big breath in, big breath out the mouth or out the nose, into the lungs completely. Give yourself another breath, hold at the top, exhale out the nose or out the mouth. Full breath out. And then one last breath for good measure. Breath in. And breath out. Same way you came in. Let's come out. So just begin to come onto the forearms. Take a pause. And shake the hips a little bit here. And then slowly press the palms. Shift the hips up and back. Bring the knees together or apart and just take a nice little child's pose. You can um, draw your blanket forward, just relax the wrist on top and then drop the forehead down. If the forehead doesn't lower all the way down, maybe you slide that blanket underneath the forehead. Let the arms hang, let the heaviness of the body surrender to gravity. These don't have to be stagnant positions. You can sway a little from side or, you know, any movement that might draw you deeper into the joint, into the inner body. Feel free to do that. And slowly press yourself up. You can set your blanket to the side. And then we'll find down dog. So curling the toes, pressing the hips up and back, down dog pose. Hips high, heels low. Let's take a little bit of movement here just to arrive, inverted. Arrive into your muscles and bones and your limbs and the strength of your core. And then let's go ahead and bring the big toes together to touch. Go ahead and fly that left leg high. Big inhale. And exhale, left knee to the right elbow. Cross it over. And so we're starting on the left side. So if you got confused, just swap it out. And then inhale, left leg flies high. Right heel stays down. And then let's do that again. A little tap, maybe rest. Inhale, left leg up and back. And then once again, third time's the charm. Cross it over. And then fly it high. Big inhale. Take the knee right down center. Look between the hands. Left foot's going to land. Right hand's going to stay down. Left arm's going to open up. And let's just take a nice twist. Let the hips sink. Lean back. Good. And then go ahead and bring that left hand to the inside. Walk it. Toes in. Heels out. Just take a little pause through center. Shake out the head and the neck. Press the outer edges of the feet. And 
And then let's walk it over towards the right side. Frame the right foot, drop the left knee down, uncurl the toe, sweep the arms up, big inhale. And then exhale, lowers you down, left hand down, right arm up, just a big twist here. And then let's bring that right arm underneath the left, crisscross, come back through to center, take a little pause, maybe this time the arms walk forward and you get that idea of just a really wide-legged down dog. Outer edges of the feet press down, heels to the toes, and then feel that draw through the inseams of the legs. Maybe pop up onto the fingertips, drop the heart. Look down, look forward, look back, whatever's comfortable for the neck and the shoulders and the body. Walk the hands back, go ahead and travel back to the front foot. Lower the right knee down, sweep the arms up, big inhale. And then this time we're gonna palms to heart center, take a twist. And see if you can edge those thumbs towards the center of the chest as you send the gaze out over that left shoulder. Long through the neck, long through the spine. Full inhale, full out breath. Good, sweep the arms back to center. Big inhale as you reach up, look up. Exhale, frame the front foot. Curl the back toe, left leg flies high. Big inhale, left knee to the right elbow, tap. Inhale, flies high. Once again, left knee, right elbow. And then one more inhale, lift. And then this time you're gonna slide the outer edge of that left foot towards the outer edge of your mat. Roll to the inseam of your right leg and inhale, come up into fallen triangle. Maybe lean up, lean back, explore. And then right hand down, take a pause here. Flex that left foot. Feel the IT band, bend to the knee if you need it. And then let's go ahead and fly that left leg up and back, stack the hips, bend the knee open. Stay here, or maybe drop that right forearm down. Drop the right heel down and just explore. Good, palm of the hand presses down, right forearm lifts, and then lower right foot next to the left foot. Ripple forward, high plank, shift forward, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, come back to the belly. Fingertips draw forward, fingertips press down. Underneath the shoulders you go. Inhale, and then you're gonna look up and over that right shoulder to the right foot. Lower, chin to the mat, and then inhale. Look up and over that left shoulder. Down. Inhale as you flow. Inhale, left shoulder, and then one more time, just three here. Like you're moving through water, like the waves. And then palms underneath the shoulders come into plank. Exhale, down dog. Big toes together to touch. Take a moment here, just give a little shake out of the legs. Then right leg flies high, so right side this time. And then right knee, left elbow, little tap. Inhale, lift up. Left heel stays down and then cross, tap to the left. Inhale up, cross, tap, inhale up. Good, step that right foot between the palms of the hands. Stay up on the, off of that left knee, left hand down, right arm up, take that twist. Exaggerate it if you like to lean back, stretch. Explore those little crevices of your body, the creases. Good, and then you're gonna crisscross the right arm under, toes and heels out and then fold. Shake out the head and the neck. Maybe you, this time you reach the arms back. And press with the outer edges of the feet. Just get a nice little stretch for the lower body. Shake out the head and the neck. Shake out the shoulders. And then walk the hands back and take that walk to the back foot. Lower the right knee down, sweep the arms up, inhale. Mm, good, bring that front foot, right hand down, curl the right toe, right knee lifts, left arm opens up for that twist. 
and then go ahead and left hand swings underneath the right crisscross come back through to center any variation that you like maybe you want to go a side to side stretch here notice where you're awakening these muscles calves inseams of the legs sits bones lift high Walk it back towards that right foot, drop the left knee down, nice long stride of that lunge, modified lunge, inhale, reach it up, hands to the heart, take the twist towards the right side, send the gaze out over that right shoulder, right elbow, and then use this to really rinse out those inner organs, those, that lower belly that we tapped into earlier with the blanket, so that connects you just your mind into that soft space of the belly so now when you breathe you feel that twist out that rinsing action that wringing out action good sweep the arms up again frame the front foot palms press step it back and then let's take a vinyasa here so chaturanga down inhale and then exhale back right leg flies high big breath and then let's cross it over tap that left elbow inhale high exhale tap inhale high and then exhale send your gaze to the belly your mind's eye to the belly and then land that right foot outer edge of the foot down onto your mat left arm can float you'll roll to the inner arch of that left foot and then left arm up fall in triangle a couple breaths here and then sweep that left hand down and linger if you need a bend to that right knee take it breathe into the right outer hip right it band and then let's go ahead and fly that right leg up stack the hips bend the knee open here and then if you want you can drop that left forearm down left heel down and then just do what feels good if it feels good for your body you do it if it doesn't if it's too much yogi choice always left elbow lifts and lower that right foot to meet the left foot and then let's ripple forward high plank all the way to the belly fingertips high and then inhale let's lift and look over the left shoulder Float it down, look over the right, down to the left, and down, one more, good, and then all the way down you go, palms press underneath the shoulders, inhale, plank, exhale, down, dog, inhale up on the chest, exhale, bend the knees, look forward, let's travel to the top. Inhale, lengthen to halfway. Exhale as you fold. You. Inhale, rise to reach. Big breath. Exhale, hands to the heart. Samasta T. Good. Sweep the arms. Inhale, reach up. Lean back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, nothing fancy. Sura Namaskar. A. Palms pressed. Back. Chaturanga. Maybe with the knees down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Few rounds of breath. Close your eyes if you like. Linger in your body, feel your heart. Inhale up on the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Travel forward, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, hands to the heart. Mm, sweep the arms, inhale up. Once again, Sura Namaskar A. You can move as fast or as slow as you like. Definitely one breath to one movement. Feel your strength growing as you go. Stay for three breaths in your down dog. If you need a child's pose, feel free to take it. You move at your own pace. Take what time you need. One last Surya Namaskar. Either together or you can hang in trials if you're there. 
on your own, breathing as you go. Feel the muscles, feel the bones, feel your body. You can add to it if you like. So just make sure you're giving yourself three full breaths in your down dog and then we'll meet in standing. Once you arrive into standing, close your eyes. Root into the feet, feel that lift up through the spine, through the crown of the head. And then we'll slowly lower your seat to a variation of Utkatasana. Rooting the right foot down, start to lift the left foot, left knees in line. Sit low and then reach that left foot back, left toes down. Inhale, arms reach up. Palms stay together as you lift the heart. Anchor into the feet, right knee tracks over the right toes. And then exhale, hands back to the heart, take the twist to the right side palms towards the center and you can drop the back knee if you need and then if you like you can also open the wings one more breath palms of the hands together with control bring it back to center reach the arms high straighten through the right leg and then let's glide it open warrior two once you set up the feet, then open the wings. Sit low. Drop the left palm, flip the right, reverse big breath. And then exhale. Go ahead and windmill the hands to the mat. Fly the right leg high. Big breath. And then we'll step that left foot behind the right wrist. Hop the back foot slightly forward and then out towards the left side of your mat, or you can go into the center plane of your mat. Get your blocks handy, and then square your hips, square the chest, take an inhale as you lengthen. And you really wanna root that left foot down and just feel that energy awakening in your left IT band, left outer hip, and then adjust your stance if you need less or more. And then exhale, you can fold it out and over. Hug the outer hips together. Root the left big toe down. Check your alignment. Just make sure the heel is behind the toes. When things get really confrontational, that's a good space to be in, especially if your body is kind of checking you. <laughs> hey, B. Good, and then let's slide that right foot behind the left. You can kind of bring them in together. Big toes together, uh, sorry, pinky toes together to touch outer edge of the feet, just align so the big toes align. And then you can take a little walk to one side, walk to the other. Back to center. And then we'll slowly lift the left foot and then just come all the way up right. Cross left ankle, right thigh. And then you can sit low here, and maybe it's just the hip stretch that you're um, focusing in on, or if you want to begin to bring that left elbow to the left foot, press the palms, and then get in here. And once you're kind of in the shape, you can explore. Good, slowly root down, bring it back upright, and then step left foot next to the right. No big deal, right? Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold out and over. Set your blocks to the side, and then we'll take a vinyasa. A 
left leg lift, the left side, big inhale. Left uh, right left tricep. tricep, tap. Inhale up. Right tricep, high up as you can go. Inhale up and back. Up high towards the underarm. Up and back. Good. And then this time you're going to left knee to the left wrist. Slide it back for a pigeon. You didn't know it was going to go there, did you? <laughs> Inhale up and then exhale down. Add a bend to the extended leg if there's any sensitivity on that left knee. And you're welcome to stay here. If you want to add the twist to this pigeon, you can press the left hand down, reach the right arm, big inhale. And then right arm will sweep underneath that left arm all the way through, through, through. And then maybe the left hand becomes a pillow for the right temple. So a little leaning back of the body towards the right side of your mat. And then soften the right fingers. And send your gaze to the hara, to the belly, the space behind the belly button, where all of those channels of the inner body interconnect, and the epicenter of all of your body's energy, energy lines. Good, and then slowly come back. I like to reset. You can stretch that arm up. Draw the left foot in and then sweep the right leg around. Step the right foot down, both sits bones press down. If the right sits bone lifts up, slide, a, slide your blanket underneath that left sit bone. Right fingertips to the base of your spine, left arm up, big breath, and then exhale. You guessed it, twist. Send the gaze towards the right shoulder. And let's just breathe here. If you have a bind and you like to do the bind here, you just needle that left arm under. Sometimes I feel like it and love it. Right now I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I want to just focus on the belly, right? Just start to isolate and take that distraction away from all the other things. But if your shoulders are just like, yes, give me a bind, do it to each their own. Good. And then let's unwind and you'll just take a sweep around towards the left and then let's go ahead and just find down dog on the facing the back of your mat you can ripple forward take that vinyasa if you like or just find down dog mm, yummy yummy big toes together to touch right leg lifts big inhale mm, find your way to that left tricep left underarm tap Inhale up through the cinch the waist as you go and you feel those obliques kicking in. <sighs> nice little sing for those digestive fires. Inhale up and then this time right knee behind the right wrist, crossing it. Find yourself in a pigeon here. Inhale lengthens you. Exhale. Come into the forearms or to the palms of the hands with the third eye center. Let's check in on the shape, the feelings that emerge from the shape. If you want to take the twist, right palm down, left arm lifts up. And slide that left arm underneath the right. Go all the way through. Reach, reach, reach. When you can't go any farther, let that right hand be a really gentle pillow. Soften the left fingertips. And then give the shoulders, kind of the center of the shoulders, just a leaning back towards the left side of your mat. Feel the awakening in your body. Where do you connect to it? Where do you feel it? Is it a hip, outer hip, inner hip, inseam of the right leg, shoulders? And where do you get drawn into the conversation.
Right hand's going to anchor you. Left arm's going to reach up. Just a nice reset. Stretch out. Left hand down. Draw the right foot in slightly. And then sweep that back leg around. Left foot stance down. Both sits bones root down. Find that little hold of the legs. You've got the shape for the lower body. Left hand to the base of the spine for stability. Inhale, right arm up. And then exhale. Let it twist you out. Adjust. Snuggle in. Relax the shoulders. Big inhale. You feel the diaphragm pushing down. So as you're kind of twisted into this in the center, you feel the diaphragm pushing down. And then as you exhale, diaphragm lifts up and you get that deeper connection to your center. So that softness of the belly. And then just play with the breath here. Maybe you hold at the bottom or expand at the top. Breath is... Such an amazing tool for cultivating some space in the body and just some cleansing. Go tall through the spine. Take the bind if you like it. It's calling to you in this moment. Slowly unwrap, take the reach over towards the right side, let both palms press down. So you feel that in the upper back and between the shoulders. And then let's just go ahead and walk it back. <laughs> and then you can do one last vinyasa, or if you just want to add some cat cow breaths in here, yogi choice, maybe it's even a combo, some cat cows and vinyasa. Maybe look over the shoulders. Shake out the head and the neck. Good. And then let's lower the knees. So if you have inversions in your practice, this is the perfect moment for it. You do tripod. You can do headstand. Um, you can do a block underneath the seat and do legs up. Whatever you kind of like in, in this space. Um, I'm actually just going to go with something... A little more gentle so I'll do the block underneath the legs um, but of course this is your practice so you do whatever you like so if you're coming into that legs up maybe a supported bridge root the feet lift the hips block underneath some days you feel like kind of getting in there and other days maybe this is just just as nice <sighs> And release the lower back and then just hang out in any inversion that you like. Consider life. Consider what brings you joy. Maybe think of one person you want to send joy to. We're all interconnected, so cosmically, I feel like that joy does reach whoever it is that you're intending for it to reach. And I don't know who's watching this video, but sending you loving kindness, an abundance of loving kindness. I feel you. I'm just sending you all of that loving kindness. Hope you feel it too. And let's slowly lower. If you're in headstand or tripod, take a moment or two in child's pose. Coming out of this bridge variation, relax the lower back down and reach the tailbone. Always like to adjust to make sure you're flat on that pelvic floor. Hug the knees in and we'll circle down. And then if you're in child's pose, transition around, join us here. And then we'll all reach the legs up. 
And you can add a soft bend to the knees if that's comfortable. Heels reach up to the ceiling and let's just kind of do little circles. Little circles. And then let's cross left leg on top of the right. So like we got into earlier, bend the knees and then we'll take just a twist over towards the right side. So knees fall to the right. Left arm extends out or cactus arm there. Big breath. Cleansing, releasing, purifying breath out. Go ahead and bring to center. And then slide the hands down the shins, reach for the ankles or the outer edges of the feet. Just a couple breaths here. If you like to reach around for the outer edges of the feet, flex the feet. Nice little inclined double shoelace for you. And then let's go ahead and extend the legs up and let's go wide, crisscross, wide, crisscross. If you've been into my classes in person, you know I love this one. <laughs> and I also love frogs on the wall, but we're not doing that today, next time. And then cross the right leg over the left, bend the knees, and let's drop the knees towards the left. Right arm's gonna extend out. Keep the right shoulder anchored down, and then you can bend the arm to a cactus arm if you want. And then this gets into that descending colon that I was talking about earlier. So we kind of started with the ascending with the twist towards the right. So that gets the starting point. And then now we're just kind of cleansing through the ending point of that colon. Bring the knees to center. Shoulders in line with the hips here and then just slide the hands down towards the ankles. And maybe you grab for the outer edges of the feet. Notice where you feel resistance. And soften around that resistance. Use that resistance, those sensations to connect to the body. Okay, and again, slowly extend, add those crisscrosses, and you can also just linger if you want to open the legs and stretch through the heels. Happy baby. And then let's just finish up in Shavasana. Legs extend out, pick up space. Arms extend, close the eyes. And Shavasana. You're welcome to stay here longer. If you're ready to move on, wiggle the fingers and the toes. And circle the wrists, the ankles, deepen the breath. And maybe take the arms up and overhead. And this is round, hug the knees into the chest. And then if you're just starting your day, maybe you want to cross the ankles and rock and roll all the way up to seated. If you're going for a more mellow approach, you can roll to one side. Or you can do that if you're also nursing an injury or being mindful of your body and come up to a comfortable seat. And 
and bring the palms together to your heart space, bow the chin to the chest, taking a moment here of gratitude for yourself, for your practice, for your center, for that space that just interconnects all of your energy and all of your vitality and sending it a little extra love. I thank you for allowing me to guide you through this practice. It's an honor and a privilege always, always. Namaste.